Hey everyone and welcome. I'm Matt with Chaparral Motorsports. Check us out at shopmoto.com for all of your riding needs. Today I have for you the new G-Max GM11S Dual Sport Adventure Helmet. Let's have a look. They've made some improvements to their Dual Sport Helmet with the 11S. They've made it more performance oriented, more user friendly, and of course they gave it a brand new look, all while still giving you a great value as far as the price goes. So before we get too far into the details, click the upper right hand corner of your screen. This will subscribe you to our YouTube channel and it will also keep you in the loop with the latest gear, new products and tech tips. Now let's get right into the construction of this helmet and what it's made of. They're using a thermoplastic polyurethane alloy shell. So this is lightweight, DOT approved and it covers a size range of extra small through double XL. Now for those changes that they've made, we'll first start talking about the visor. What they've done here is reshaped it They've added channeling into the top of this thing, so it's gonna be more aerodynamic. It's going to reduce drag and help out with head checking, which is especially important when you're in the upright position at highway speeds. Now, the visor is at the core of this helmet's versatility, and here's why. You could take the visor completely off, install the supplied base plate covers, and then it turns into an aggressive, full-face street riding helmet that has a really unique look. Then notice that you have huge gaps in between the visor and the helmet itself. This not only allows for lots of air to flow through, but it's gonna allow you to tuck the face shield completely up and out of the way so that you won't even notice that it's there when you're not using it. However, if you did wanna use it with your goggles on, you can do so because you have this little area between the gasket and the visor to allow the strap to lay right in there so that you can close the shield completely. You can even take it completely off to wear it as a regular traditional motocross helmet or off-road helmet, or what you can also do, there's one more thing in here, that you can crack the visor to get a little more ventilation because it has strong detents in between the closed and the fully up position. And now for that other change, the mouthpiece has been redesigned. It's now more aerodynamic, slimmer in profile, and it gives the helmet an overall better look. As far as the ventilation goes, it's really cool in this helmet because you can adjust just about every vent that it has. Starting with the mouthpiece, you have this tab here that controls multiple vents in that mouthpiece. You have adjustable vents at the top of the helmet, one just behind the bridge of the visor, two exhaust vents that are adjustable, and to finish it out, you have more exhaust vents at the bottom of the helmet. Now, moving on to the interior liner. Everything is removable and washable, so you can freshen it up at any time, and you get the chin skirt included with the helmet itself. Standard D-ring retention system and a really plush comfort liner for all-day comfort. Now, this is the titanium and dark silver graphic. For more colors and sizes available, go to shopmoto.com and remember to subscribe to us on YouTube. Thanks for watching. I'm Matt. We'll see you next time.